So if you have not heard, if you're not connected to me on LinkedIn or we have not talked by, my wife and I welcomed a healthy baby boy into the world a couple of weeks ago. So we are now on baby number eight and we are so thankful, so happy about it. It has been absolutely awesome. Uh, so, and I think it's been really exciting because it was an amazing new start coming right on the heels of the ending of my time at ChenMed. And so it's been this weird kind of hard, but really healthy and exciting mix of, well, one chapter closed and a new chapter begun. And so that's been really, really fun. If I've been a little quieter, maybe if had bigger bags under my eyes than I normally do, I guess you can probably understand where some of that's coming from. But I think in terms of you know, just some context around this, for anybody who's followed me for any length of time, you know, I'm usually extremely public about these. Uh, I'm public about you know, when my wife gets pregnant, I'm public about the birth and all this right on the heels of it often hours, if not maybe 24 hours after the baby. And this time we opted to just keep it quiet. So for some of you who have known me for a while, if you're like, wow, I didn't even know you were expecting, that was intentional. We made the decision to keep it quiet. And, uh, you know, I guess by the time you get to number eight, sometimes it's just more fun to surprise people with things because you've had eight. So what other surprises do you have? And, you know, eventually it does get old getting the unsolicited advice and the comments probably just well intended, but don't always land well of, you know, where they come from and when are you going to stop and all that good stuff. So needless to say, we kept this one quiet. And unfortunately, the one downside is that when you decide to keep things quiet, people have very strong opinions on that as well. And so as we began sharing news of our new birth, let's just put it this way. Uh, there were certain people that it did not go so well with people who believe that they were entitled to that information and were offended that we had not shared that information with them until this point. And my point in sharing that is actually not necessarily to talk about that situation. And, you know, I'm sure there's going to be people who have strong feelings on one end or the other. Ultimately, that's what we decided to do. And, um, but there were three takeaways that I wanted to share because as I've ended up talking with some people privately about some of this stuff, there's a lot of relevant takeaways that I think many people would benefit from. And so me being transparent is kind of the history of how I built my brand of just sharing what's going on and sharing what I think I'm learning through it and what I think others might be able to learn through the experience as well. And so one of the biggest ones that I would say is, you know, there's definitely been ups and downs with things going not how you expect it, you know, expecting to surprise people with the exciting news of a new baby and to be met with anger and disappointment and finger pointing. That's not fun. Um, and that definitely has had moments where that has robbed some of the joy from the experience. But one of the things that my wife and I have really been learning through this experience and going through it over the past week, week and a half is that People can really only take from you what you're willing to give them. And so as we've been going through this, there have definitely been moments where we've wanted to kind of like, let it bring us down and let us have a, you know, poor me moment in the whole thing. And as we've done that, we've both worked hard to encourage each other to say, hey, this is a universally amazing thing and we are going to celebrate this. And someone not being happy the same way we are happy does not have to rob us of that joy unless we allow it to. And I think that's important for people to consider with a lot of things, because especially now in a social media world where so much information is put out there, so much information is shared, and there's this pressure to try and live up to whatever expectations other people may have of you. And when you do that, not everybody's going to like it. And when they don't, there can be tremendous pressure to just start to feel like the joy you had has been taken from you. And the reality is that joy doesn't have to be taken from you. And I say that from a very painful personal experience. So I'm not saying this out to people who may be going through something similar to diminish the frustration, the pain, the things you may be experiencing. They're real. And I know because I'm experiencing it myself right now. But at the same time, we are working really diligently to say, but we choose whether 
that's going to affect us that way or whether we're going to change and shift our focus on the really awesome experience that we have right now. And so I hope that's an encouragement to people who maybe have felt like they've been kind of punched in the face over something that they were really excited about, whether it's big or small, that you don't have to let that punch knock the wind out of you. And there is a way to step forward into it. I think the second thing that I would share with this is, or really anybody out there, going back to this pressure that we have, whether it's social media, whether it's family pressure, pressure from families to live up to some expectation that someone has of you or what they think they need you to be for them, or whether it's your boss who has an unrealistic expectation of who you need to be or how you need to behave or who you need to be as a person. You ultimately have to make the decisions that are in the best interest of you and your families. And that doesn't mean you don't take into consideration the perspectives of others, the way that your actions may affect other people and just go, I'm going to do what I want and I don't really care. By no means would I ever encourage that. And for those of you who listen and follow me, you know that I am a follower of Jesus Christ. And so for me, it is very much like, no, I'm not following a standard based on what I believe is right. I'm looking to something outside of myself to gauge that. And so don't interpret that as me encouraging or telling people, go out there, do what you want, scorch the earth around you. It's your life to live. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is there can be unhealthy pressures from different places for you to act, behave, and do things that are not right or wrong. It's just pressure to do things that other people want from you. And that can be debilitating. And it can be extremely suffocating to feel like you're living your life, living up to someone else's definition of what your life should be. And I would just encourage people to say, you don't have to live up to someone else's expectation. From my point of view, you will ultimately be judged by the ultimate set of standards not some other persons, but regardless of whether you share that worldview or not, you still don't need to live up to someone else's fallen, broken expectations of you, especially when you consider the fact that they really know very little about your life. And so whatever perspective they may have, you can take it, you can consider it, you can examine it and weigh whether it's valuable or not. From my perspective, you weigh that against biblical texts. And then you decide what you do with it because you're the one who's ultimately going to have to live with the decisions you make. And so I would just encourage people, especially younger people. I know it's a lot harder when you're younger, but it doesn't necessarily get easier when you're older or as you move up into company or whatever, you know, cultural trends tell you, once you get here, you don't deal with this pressure. You deal with this pressure all the time. And I personally am feeling the weight of that significantly right now. And so I would just encourage others to walk the same path we've chosen to walk this week and say, no, we weighed, we considered all these things. We made a decision based on what was in the best interest of our family and making sure that we weren't doing anything wrong in making that decision. And if other people don't like it, that's okay. Even if it's people who feel like they should have a say in what you decide. And the final point I will say is to extended family or even friends or coworkers, whatever you think your relationship is to someone. I just want to say right now, regardless of who you are, you are not entitled to information about someone. You are not entitled to dictate to them what they should or shouldn't do. That is not your place to get involved in that. And ultimately, and that doesn't change because you're a a blood relative or you're someone's boss or you're whatever it is. It really does not matter. And I think the biggest thing with that is that really should be an opportunity for everyone to reflect on that and recognize that the quality of the relationships you have with family, with friends, with coworkers is directly tied to how you treat them. And if you're not happy with the relationships you have with others, I'll just tell you right now, your best bet is not to go to them and tell you what's wrong with the relationship and demand that they need to do these things to fix it for them. The best thing you can do is look in the mirror and go, what am I doing that could be contributing 
to the dysfunction of this relationship that may be making it strained or distant or not quite what I want? And am I placing unspoken expectations on them that either they're unable to achieve or they've never been communicated? And so with that little bit of insight into some personal news that's happening, but also some really key takeaways that I think would be valuable. I know I'm learning and having to walk through those myself, but I think there are things that would be beneficial for really truly anyone to hear because anybody I've talked to and shared some of this has said, wow, yeah, I, I can absolutely relate to that. 